and welcome back to Machine Setup uh, 101. This is part two. And we left off at the machine to be tested. So now that our machine has completed the test, it will say test complete. You will also see a blue checks all along here under OK. That means all the tests have been passed. If anything failed, you would see a red X, like this one, under the error, and it will tell you what the machine failed. So now after your test is complete, we're gonna go ahead and check your conductivity and pH on your Phoenix meter. pH is never displayed on the machine, but your conductivity is. And the difference between the conductivity that's being displayed on the machine and the Phoenix meter should be no greater than 0.2 or no less than 0.2. So there's a plus or minus 0.2 difference. That's the only acceptable difference, 0.2 plus or minus. Okay, so I need to take my dialysate in order to check my pH and conductivity. So again, clean dialysate comes through your blue Hansen connector. Dirty dialysate goes through the red. So this is where the di dialysate exits when the patient is on the machine. So I need clean dialysate, so I'm gonna remove the Hansen. Then I'm gonna catch my sample and I need about 10 milliliters in order to check my pH and conductivity. Okay, I'm going to return this. I'm going to turn on my Phoenix meter by pressing this green button, the mode button. Then I'm going to pull up about 10 milliliters and I'm going to compare it to what's on the machine. Now, the conductivity on the machine and the Phoenix meter again, should not be more than plus or minus 0.2. My conductivity on the machine is over 14.5, so that's not acceptable. So this machine has to say either 13.5 to 14.5 as a conductivity in order for me to be able to use it. Okay, so this I would have to do something about. However, when I look at my Phoenix meter, it's saying 14.5. So if this were to be an acceptable conductivity limit, it would be acceptable. 14.5, 14.7, that's plus or minus 0.2, right? And my pH was 7.1. That's acceptable because the normal pH range is 6.9 to 7.6. So, I'm going to just proceed to connect everything to where they need to be for demonstration purpose, okay? So before I tested my machine, I took off the transducer filter protectors. So I have to put them back on. So I have one arterial transducer filter protector, and I have a venous transducer filter protector. Okay, while I'm here, I'm also going to arm the air detector so that when the machine detects air, like these two sensors, it's going to clamp this lever and the machine is also going to alarm air, air that there's air detected and it's also going to stop, the blood pump is going to stop. Okay, so this I have already done on, on my air detector, put back my transducer filter protector. Now I need to connect my dialysis. Okay, it's color coded. Blue to blue, red to red. Okay, so this is the prime position where the dialyzer is upside down, okay? This is the upright position. So when you're gonna put your patient on the machine, you want your dialyzer 
arterial end up, venous end down, okay? So if this conductivity was 14.5, then it would be okay to put my patient on. So now we have to troubleshoot. If this conductivity does not reach 13.5 to 14.5, the machine has to be pulled from service. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Dialysis Training Institute of Excellence. We're located at 831 Merrick Road in Baldwin, and our phone number is 516 705 4637. Thank you.